Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. We are two sisters, Southern Cooking. Maple glazed butternut squash with bacon. Sounds yummy. Um, so right now we're getting the bacon ready, um, but the first step before we get the bacon, because that's just going to be assembly with it, but right now I'm going to spread out the squash on a baking pan and I'm going to salt and pepper. We'll sprinkle salt and pepper over it. And I'm gonna stir it in a second. As soon as I put um, get all this on, and then I'm gonna put um, olive oil on top of it. And it's gonna get roasted in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. About halfway through, at 15 minutes, you can toss them to turn them over so that they um, roast evenly. Okay. And I'm just going to pour over some olive oil. my wooden spoon here and I'm just going to toss them. So that I make sure every bit has is covered. parchment paper that just helps to um, when you go to get them all out and off the, the baking pan that it comes out easier all right all right I've got them pretty much coated pretty good I'm going to spread this back out evenly through the pan and get it ready to go in the oven and then when we bring it back out of the oven then we'll show the uh, assemble, which is to put the, the maple glaze on and to sprinkle the bacons over it with it. I can't wait. Uh, butternut squash is probably my favorite squash of all squashes. And then my second favorite would be yellow squash and then zucchini. But I love, absolutely love butternut squash. Okay, I think we're ready for it to go in the oven for um, 30 minutes, but at a halfway point, then I'll stir it around and make sure to flip all of them over so that the other side gets um, evenly toasted. All right, we'll be back. It's essential that you remove the butternut squash from the oven at 15 minutes and flip them over and get a nice crust on both sides. And about 30 minutes after it's completely roasted, you remove it and start to prepare your second stage. Hey y'all, it's Debbie. So Elsie has already put the butternut squash in the oven. So and mom has been cooking the bacon in the microwave and uh, we got them all good and nice and yummy. So we're gonna take some bacon grease and mix it with our glaze and we're just gonna drizzle it over top of it with the maple glaze. So this is something that we came up with. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the butter in, let it melt, and then after that, we're gonna put in our sugar and our maple syrup. 
What we'll do is we'll bring it to a boil. Let it boil and then we'll reduce the heat and then we'll add in some milk and let it simmer for like five minutes and then we'll have it ready to go ahead and start drizzling over top of our butternut squash and we already have the bacon all ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put brown sugar in. Get it all mixed in. I like to make sure things are combined before you go add in a next step. So, all right. We're gonna do a couple tablespoons of maple syrup. And then once we have a nice, which it looks like we already have a boil here, I'm gonna go ahead and start reducing the temperature here in just a moment. And then start adding in the milk. It's gonna be like caramel, y'all. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna taste so good. As you see right now, it's nice and bubbling, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it all the way down to one. hidden. Start adding in our liquid. Get a little bit left of the maple syrup. I'll make sure it's in there. You gotta get all the good yumminess in there. Oh yeah. This is gonna be caramelized. This is like a three tablespoons of milk, whole milk. It smells divine. I wish this was smell of vision You guys would be having a cow right now. Cause it smells so good. It smells like fall like caramels that you make in the fall. Mmm. You have to keep stirring this so you don't burn it because you that's what you don't want because if it burns, it tastes bitter. So don't let it burn. Alright. I think I'm actually going to take it off the stove just so it don't continue to, to burn and just let it kind of like Pull down a little bit here because it's going to be nice and thick, y'all. It's going to be so good. Oh my goodness. We're going to pour this over top of our butternut squash. We got the bacon here ready to go and pour this over top of it. And we're going to actually drizzle in a little bit of bacon grease. And um, I'm always tempted to. Uh, Go ahead and get that ready also because it's going to be about a tablespoon and a half of baking grease to put in it. And then we'll. That looks just like caramel. Look at that. Mm 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 mm. Okay, y'all. Well, I'll come back when it's ready to be poured or drizzled on top of the butternut squash. And then we'll put the bacon on there. Oh, just mix it up. Gonna be so good, y'all. So Elsie actually is gonna be turning the butternut squash here in probably a minute or so. And uh, we'll go ahead and take the GoPro in the kitchen so she can do that. So, but we will see you guys when we're ready to put this on there and give you some good yumminess. Oh, it's gonna be so good. And we'll see you guys shortly. Hey y'all, it's Debbie. So I am back and I'm finishing up the butternut squash. Oh my God, does it smell so good in here. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the squash in our pan here and we're going to then sprinkle it with the bacon and the bacon grease. I've got a teaspoon and a half of bacon grease that is from the bacon that we fried and we're going to then drizzle over top of it this Maple caramel, oh my goodness. This would be a good recipe 
for somebody to have for like topping your donuts or your hot cross buns or whatever. It would be so good to do that. So mm -mm -mm. I'm just going to really go a little heavy on the bacon here and just kind of like, so it's just, once we scoop into this, it's just going to be delicious. And oh Lord, this is going to be good. Okay. So I'm going to do one and a half teaspoons of bacon grease so it can just like add a little bit of flavor to and look at that that caramel oh my goodness it's so simple too you just have to watch your heat on it that's all I'm just going to put it all over it and then I'm going to have to light the the fires in there under for our our burners so we can keep our food warm mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, so good mm. This would be good on any kind of donut that has bacon on it too, like a bacon maple donut. This would be delicious on that. That's an idea, Elsie. Bacon, bacon maple donuts. Yeah, I'm that. It would be good on a ba uh, maple, bacon maple donut. Mmm. That's a great idea. Maybe we should do maple that. Oh, that's going to be so good, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and put this on our, our chafing station. Get it ready to serve up for dinner. Oh, it's going to be so good, y'all. I can't wait to just, like, dig into this because this is going to be good. Elsie and I kind of came up with this idea about this the other night. And we said, you know what? There's nothing going to be better than the sweet and the savory. And you mix it together because everything's good with bacon. But if you mix butternut squash with it, it's just going to be such a tremendous flavor. So, all right, guys, we will see you in our next video. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. This show is produced by Two Sisters Productions, McRae, Georgia.